no memory. The order, of course, of the one who did this. What is going to happen to these characters that no longer have a life? Some of them are still well. Sorry, what was that last part? Some of them are still well. Oh yeah, no, they're all. I mean, the 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 werewolves are still the werewolves. They 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 don't have their memory. You know, when we start the season. Um, you know, it's uh, an important element of the season is, is, is what's the fallout of that and, and how, you know, how does it come back if it comes back and what is the sort of fallout of, of that realization of what's been done to them. And that's kind of all I can say. <laughs> One of the biggest challenges you guys have faced as, as writers for this is standing apart in the, the teen supernatural part of genre. Do you think we stand apart? I do think we stand apart. Yeah. Oh, okay. Thank okay. you. Yeah. In a good way, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, she's picking a fight with us. Okay. Be cool, man. Be cool. Okay. All right. We'll get out of this. All right. Um, well, one, thank you. Um, I, you know, I don't know if there's a there wasn't really a conscious effort going in to sort of be like this is you know we weren't looking at other shows going okay this is what we're going to do differently i think you know what shelly and i did is we just sort of we would you know talk about what do we want when we watch this kind of genre like what stories do i want to see told what kind of elements do i like to see sort of happen and and it sort of comes out of you know it's really like it's that thing of kind of what Shelley was saying about just writing in general. It's like, if I'm going to do a YA horror series, what do I want it to look like? And so it's... You can't separate horror and comedy with this guy. It's just not... Po Actually, you can't separate comedy from this guy. And yeah. so it makes complete sense that we made a horror show that is comedic. And our biggest like kind of practice and hope yeah. is that the comedy doesn't take away from the horror. Yeah. That's almost like a standing rule in, in yes. the room. Yeah. What did you percentage? Because it sounds like from what you were saying in the panel, there'd be more comedy this season. Is that right? And what would the balance be in terms of the percentages? Um, I think, I mean... I don't know you can break it down. Yeah. Some things loan themselves to being comedic more easily than others, for yeah. sure. No, I, I mean the, the stakes. The stakes for the, like I always go with comedy as even if I think it's funny, the stakes for the characters are absolutely sincere and real. Because if, if the stakes aren't real for the characters, then it's like you're getting a few laughs, but you're not really getting anything out of the story. So it's 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 always like sincere stakes because it's a horror world. Those are going to be the heightened horror stakes that that we're going through. Um, you know, and for me, the comedy will always come in in the character interaction and the follow after that horror. You know, almost as a coping mechanism and stuff like that. So I would say that you know it's kind of like as we amp up the horror, we probably also see like uh, you know the comedy coming up to sort of act as a as a counterpoint to it because I really do see horror and comedy as two sides of the same coin. And yeah. how much of the story have you planned out for these seasons? Um, we've got season two planned, and we're writing the, the pitch documents for the final two episodes right now to get Netflix to sign off on that. Um, and we're having, while we're sort of finishing that, we're having conversations about where we'd like to go in season three. Um, but it's not like... It'll definitely be this in season three, and then season four will be this, and then season five will be that. It continues to be a, a discovery process for us in the yeah. room. Like we definitely have a plan for the end of a season, yeah. but we keep finding things out along the way, yeah. and that means all of our conversations are still like it's an experiment. But what's coming next? No. Uh, well, werewolves come out of magic, so everything, you know, there will be new things in, in this season and hopefully in, you know, future seasons as well, and, you know, the only rule is, is everything must be because of magic, so... She's doing this to us, yeah. that nice lady with the last one of it. This question? For a while? I mean... <laughs> It depends on how much Max likes me after the end of season one, really. It's, but, 
I'll never say never about anything with, with this show. So. Will we see more of the order in maybe other universities? Um, maybe. I know. I'm so glad we could be of help. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. I really should just sit down and say, what show? I, I don't know about the order.